Yo, what's going on guys? It's Russ and welcome to my very first official build for Wonderlands. I know a lot of you have been waiting for build videos to be back on the channel and I'm very excited for this to be the first one. This one is Chaos Level 20 ready and it is a complete gun build. You can use any guns you want and it is going to shred no matter what. I know a lot of builds out right now are based on companions and spell damage so I wanted to bring you guys a fresh gun build that's going to be able to do some crazy stuff. If you watch my SMG Go Bird clip, this is that build and you're going to have some insane fire rate damage and reload speed bonuses but before we jump into it really quick i want to say 89.8 percent of people that watch my videos are not subscribed so if you enjoy and find yourself coming back consider subscribing and also i haven't said this in a while but these builds are located in my discord channel if you would like to download them the link to the discord will be in the description and if you do download it be sure to drop a like and let me know what you think about the build i truly appreciate all the support you guys have been crazy with all the con words and i cannot wait to put out more builds and just wonderland's content in general for you guys all right but starting off like i always do let's start talking about the weaponry first now i said you can use pretty much any weapon with this build and you can these are just some weapons that i like obviously the heck waiter is a very good smg it's pretty much plays like a shotgun uh this smg pretty much changed the lightning everywhere kind of like risk runner from destiny uh this is a pretty good shotgun and i do actually want to make a shotgun version of this build which i will probably put another video out on but this build is specifically based on using a lot of automatic weapons and just very fast weapons in general so again just use whatever weapons you want to use it doesn't matter too too much because all of them are going to be pretty good now same goes for melee i'm just using this melee because it has an enchant on it while axe skill is active and increases fire damage by 50 percent so now whenever i pop my axe skill i get more damage with the heck waiter which is very good because this is my main weapon uh that i'm using in pretty much every part of the game and also before we get to the gear i just want to note that this build still has room to improve obviously not every piece of my gear is enchanted and there's still some god rolls that i can get and even better weaponry but getting into the gear let's actually first talk about our amulet because this is an amulet that is actually very very strong so it says when health is below 50 percent summon a sacrificial skeep that can occur more than once every 30 seconds as you read from the title the build for this is skeep zarking and this is part of the reason on top of the axe skill we're using this legendary is very very strong essentially when you get below 50 health you're going to spawn this little skeep that comes out and it's going to pulse five times and heal you to max 100 on top of that if you ever go down you can also shoot it and you get a uh, death save it is very very good for survivability as you see mine does have frost damage and berserker power and then it also has some extra fire rate which is very good and status effect damage which doesn't matter too too much but it is you know a little damage increase but the main part is that survivability this is basically where most of your survivability is going to come from it does have a 30 second cooldown but the point of this build is to be a glass cannon run up to enemies and just slay everything before you can die and if you do go down it's not that big of a deal because some other stuff we're going to get into in a minute but our spell we're going to be using is the buff meister now this is without a bug this is just the buff meister itself it's still very good you're going to get that bonus damage we're not going to be taking advantage too much like a damage spell i guess you could if you want to but honestly this is specifically gun focused and this is probably the best gun spell you can have because you just get increases to your gun damage and a bunch of other things but then for my ward i'm going to be running the wit of hell and this is a ward that makes it so when your ward is depleted you're going to get 17 percent damage resistance and 100 percent increased damage uh, the closer you are to enemies this also is going to give you an additional 10 percent fire rate when your wards depleted so this is insanely good for this build then for my armor we're going to have the viking smart armor for control chaos i'm not exactly sure what the exact name of it is but the effect that you want is total crit chance is reduced by 50 percent but crit damage is increased by 50 percent so you get a bunch of crit damage the crit chance uh reduction is not even like that bad if you just actually spec into a lot of crit chance or something like the hero points it can pretty much negate this but having that additional 50 percent crit damage is insane uh this also is given berserker and spell shot power and we're gonna have spell critical chance gun damage and war regeneration delay these stats could be better uh gun damage is very good but the other two are kind of worthless and finally for our rings i have this one where when your ward is not full your effects are increased by 100 as you see we're getting spell damage dark magic efficiency spell crit chance and sniper critical hit damage again all the stats on this are worthless it's this build still has a lot of room to improve just by getting better gear but it is giving you that spell damage which is good and then we also have another one with spell damage and then dealing damage uh to bosses increased the effects 100 for a moderate amount of time this is also giving you pain critical hit chance Access skill cooldown rate and companion critical hit damage. Access skill cooldown rate is the only one that's actually pretty good in here. So getting over to the skills, I know a lot of you guys might be asking why am I taking stuff that literally uh, it wants my shield to be reduced, but that is because of a skill over here called glass cannon. So this basically makes your ward no longer recharge and you're gonna increase spell damage. Both of these are gonna be very, very good, but specifically talking about the ward first, if you get the zero ward, 
your wards are never going to be charged. So you're going to have your buffs for the ward you have right here. You're going to have your buff for the ring. Both of those combined, you're going to have a ton of spell damage. Then for survivability, you also have your skeep uh, amulet right here that will heal you a lot. But getting back over to the skills, spell damage is going to be very good because of magic bullets. So a portion of all increases the fate maker receives spell damage is also applied to their gun damage. So all our spell damage belts we had in our armor actually is going to increase our gun damage as well. If you just get rings with actual gun damage, it would be better because obviously this is just taking any percent from it where the gun damage would just be in total but if you do get one with spells it's not too bad but if you want to min max everything just getting pure gun damage would be better but you're going to be taking three points of this either way because of the character feat for spell weaving where when you reload or cast a spell or your action skill with polymorph you basically get uh stacks of increased spell damage you can stack up to five times and that spell damage will in return go to gun damage because of magic bullets now i'm also gonna be running a prestidigitation right here to get 40 percent reload speed not only is this going to be good for just constantly slaying out with weapons but you will get your spell weaving stacks a little bit faster then we also have just warming up so the fate maker gains increased fire rate for every stack of spell weaving so now every time you get spell weaving you're getting four percent per stack you have five stacks in total so that is 20% increased fire rate, which is insane. And if you remember, you also have your gear that's giving you increased fire rate. So that's going to help that even more. Now, I also have two points in font demand just to get some more axial cooldown rate. You do get spell cooldown rate too, which is pretty good. Uh, this was just mainly get down to some other skills like glass cannon, because this is pretty integral to this build. If you don't take glass cannon, you're not going to get the buffs of those shields. Finally, I have high threat counts. So this is going to give me an additional three spell weaving stacks, which makes it go to eight. So now, you have eight spell weaving stacks you're getting more damage with magic bullets and on top of that you're getting more fire rate which is warming up now getting over into the berserker this is going to be multi-class with the berserker and this is where a lot of stuff actually comes into play the character feat of the berserker is going to be whenever you use an action skill you're going to get enraged when you're enraged you're doing 10 percent bonus frost damage the enraged duration lasts 15 seconds which is a crazy amount of time and you also have the ability to re-trigger uh, the duration so in theory if you're slaying out which you will be doing you can literally have this bonus frost damage up the entire time it is crazy and that's what this whole build is built into so starting off we have ancestral frost so you're going to get increased frost damage by 20 percent. so basically what i was just talking about the damage is going to be even higher now which is really good then we also have ice break so the fate maker gains increased damage dealt to enemies that are slowed the closer the enemy is to being fully frozen the more damage this is kind of applying a debuff in a way you're going to be putting cryo on everybody so everybody's going to be slow so they're just going to take more damage in general and the closer they are to freezing you're going to get 30 percent more damage which is good in general even if they aren't close to being froze just having that extra damage just for shooting an enemy is crazy crazy strong now i'm also going to be taking the old ways so the fate maker deals bonus damage and gains damage reduction the closer she is to the enemy the closer the enemy is the greater the bonus so this is kind of like a mara skill from borderlands 3 so when you're very close to enemy you're getting 30 percent more damage and 30 percent damage reduction which is good for survivability and obviously we're doing a lot of damage now if you take a look at our shield again we have while the war is depleted uh you're basically getting 100 increased damage to nearby enemies so if you're close to enemies you're getting 100 damage increase from the ward and from old ways you also get 30 percent so a bunch of damage increases and for survivability with this which is very very good now i'm also taking three points in instinct so you're getting more reload speed and weapon swap speed and then while you're enraged it's actually doubled so it's 12 percent normal and 30 percent weapon swap speed normal so this would be 24 percent while you're enraged and again you're pretty much going to be enraged 24 7 and then your weapon swap speed would be at 60 percent so crazy crazy benefits this paired with uh prestidigitation you're getting 64 percent reload speed on all your weapons which is crazy good and with that you're going to be able to keep a lot of your spell weaving stacks up as well now i'm going to be taking three points in blood frenzy so this is a kill skill so whenever you kill the enemy you're going to add three seconds to your enrage timer so again this is how you're going to constantly keep that enrage timer up and you're getting nine percent of your max health to store which is pretty good for survivability as well and it'll also help with survivability we're taking unarmored defense so a portion of the fate makers ward is reserved so you're getting 150 percent health because of your reserved ward and that also in theory is going to make it even easier to get the ward down to zero so you can proc your damage boost right here from your ward and like i said glass cannon will never let it recharge so you don't even worry about your shield with this build so these two combined uh very very good for all the buffs you get and then you have even more health as well for survivability now i'm also taking one point in relentless rage so this basically makes it when you go and save your soul every time you do damage the bar is actually going to go back up and it makes it very easy to not actually die and get your death save out on top of that whenever you do get a kill and you get back up you reproc your enrage timer which is crazy strong because you don't even have to use your axe skill now to do it so between relentless rage blood frenzy unarmored defense uh the old ways and your amulet you're going to be able to get pretty close to enemies and just 
kind of lay waste on them with a bunch of fire rate. And speaking of fire rate, we also have iron squall. So fire rate is increased and melee attack speed is increased. Then while your enraged effect is doubled. So this is 15% increased fire rate and then 15% increased melee attack speed, which doesn't matter like too much. But the fire rate is going to obviously be 30% because you were going to be pretty much enraged 24 seven. And so now on top of that, you're getting fire rate from this and things like just warming up plus all your other gear. And you're going to be able to literally just gun down enemies and just spray bullets everywhere now finally we're taking the berserker capstone a blood of the fallen so basically this is a kill skill uh the fate makers remaining action skill cooldown is reduced by a percentage if the action skill is currently active restore a percentage of duration instead so basically if your action skill is active you get 20 percent of that restored and then if it's not you're going to actually cool down 20 percent of your action skill and for our action skill we're going to be taking polymorph so polymorph is very good i actually made a video on it if you guys haven't seen it yet this basically is going to cast whatever spell that you have and you can also keep reprocking it over and over again because if the target is very tanky the polymorph isn't going to die in a couple shots so you can keep procking spells which is very nice you can keep your buff maestro pretty much 100 percent of the time alongside your enrage timer and it is very very strong it takes enemies out the game it's very easy to shoot enemies as well if they have like annoying shields or like the crafts have their shells you just get about the game you do a lot of damage and it is very very easy to keep reprocking your enrage timer due to the fact that it has a pretty short cooldown as it is at 28 seconds and then with blood of the fallen it's even faster so you're gonna have your enrage timer up 24 7 you're gonna have your buff meister up 24 7 you're gonna have a ton of fire rate you're gonna have a ton of reload speed you're gonna have a pretty good survivability as well on top of everything else and you're just going to be a murderer machine with a lot of weapons now if i actually take a look at our hero stats i did choose village idiot uh because you get that plus eight in uh strength to get that crit damage so i have max crit damage i have uh max dexterity so max strength max dexterity get more crit chance then more crit damage then i put some points in constitution to get some more uh max hp and war which basically means you're even better at survivability so overall that's the build again you can use pretty much any gun you want to whatever works for you the best if you do equip your class mod i do have some extra points and things like uh imbued weapon which doesn't matter too too much but ancestor frost is giving me even more frost damage now and then Icebreaker is giving you up to 50% more damage to frozen enemies, which is also very, very strong. But again, I wanted to make a gun build because I know these are kind of getting looked over with everything else like opinion spell builds. But they are still very, very good. And this is one of the best. I know spell weaving, you kind of want to use spells and Berserker. Maybe you want to play in the melee. But if you actually combine both of them, you can do some crazy, crazy things with gun damage, with fire rate and everything like that. But anyway, that is going to be all for me. I really hope this helped you out. If you guys have any more questions, be sure to drop a comment down below. And again, this save is in my discord if you guys would like to download it but i think that is going to do it all for me thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one peace